In this video, I'll be going through um, Chapter 9, Lesson 4, Work Together Problem from the Century 21 Accounting uh, General Journal Text, Edition 10E by Gilbertson, Lehman, and Gentine. All credit given to them for um, this problem and this text. So, the problem states that cash payments journal for Golden Fabrics and the Petty Cash Report are given in your working papers. I've put them here in this workbook. Your instructor, that's me, will guide you through the following example and save your work to complete the work together 9-5. So don't submit this yet. Um, using October of the current year, journalize these transactions on page 10 of the cash payments journal. Checks used as source documents are abbreviated with letter C. Okay, so our transactions. October 2nd, wrote a check to built-in communications for the telephone bill, $124.00. Check number 521. So I'm going to look at my textbook versus this so I don't have to flip back and forth. And um, that is just page 266. But if you don't have your textbook, you can use this. I'm going to go to the cash payments journal. And so the first one is October the 2nd. And we were told um, page 10 of this journal. So we'll go ahead and fill that in. All right, first transaction was to built-in communications for the telephone bill. So I'm going to call that a utilities expense. And it would be um, check number 521, according to the book, and it's $124.00 which is going to be a general debit and then of course a cash credit huh i wonder why that's that way we'll just format painter in. okay and then the third wrote a check on account to gray manufacturing covering purchase invoice number 532 for $1,640 less the 2% cash discount. Check number 522. And what we know, it's it's to Green Manufacturing, Inc. And it was on the October the 3rd. And... We have an accounts payable debit, but there's also going to be a purchases discount credit. So, 2% cash discount of 1640 So the whole amount will be here in the accounts payable debit, and the discount will be 0 0.02 or 2% 2 times the 1640 and the cash credit will be the total minus the 32.80. So 160720s the amount that the check will actually be. Okay. Uh, let's see, the ninth. It says we wrote a check to LPF manufacturing for merchandise. There's our hint. Because we're getting merchandise, it goes to purchases. We're paying cash for merchandise with a list price of $1,575, check 523, and uh, the amount was $1,575 paid in cash. And then also it would be a purchases debit right there. Okay. Number, well not number 12, the 12. We wrote a check to village supply for office supplies. So we'll call this supplies office and the check number was six, oh sorry, 524. Notice they're in order. You hope for that, but there could have been a voided one in between or something. Um, $64, 
um, for the office supplies, general debit, and cash credit, and that should be it. Okay, so now we have the 16th. Wrote a check on account to Westland Supply. So we'll go ahead and type Westland Supply because that would be one of the one of the vendors we owe money to in our accounts payable. And covered purchase invoice number 516 for $426. And there's no purchase discount offered. So check 525 and this one. Oh, this is going to be an accounts payable, I believe, for $426 and a cash credit for $426. Okay. And the 31st, the fun one, we get to replenish the petty cash fund. And this is going to be check number 526. This is a pretty normal end of the month activity for those that use petty cash. Okay. So now we'll need to figure out what, um, what we paid for. So we'll go over to our petty cash report and we can see here the date of 1031 and what we've got to figure out is what did we pay for? So it looks like we did supplies office, supplies store, and miscellaneous for these three amounts. Okay. So we'll go like, I would just do this. I would copy these three things because I'm in a spreadsheet and it's not hard to do. And I would bring them back here to my cash payments and I will just paste values. Right. So that goes right there. And then what would make the most sense is the next step. I don't believe we'll have any of these in a special column over here, other than your cash credit, of course, at the end. So we'll just go ahead and bring those all over as um, general debits. So back to my petty cash report. Copy those right here. And I'm just going to paste those values again. Um, normally, you would want to list these in order of amount. I don't know if it matters a tremendous amount for today's purposes. Leaving it the same as theirs is probably fine, but that would be something you would do. And then you got to do cash short and over. And how much was that? It looks like we were cash short of a dollar and five cents for a total of 154.02. Let's see if that's what we come up with. Um, dollar five. And then do all of those sum 154.02. That's good. So then we would just on the top line of this is probably fine. Equal sum of all four of these to replenish the petty cash is 154.02. So our debit should be equal to our credits. And that is what we're looking for. Okay, so our instructions. We did record the replenishment of the petty cash fund. Perfect. And I don't think it said to post them yet. Just says, um, using October of the current year, journalize these transactions on page 10 of the cash payments journal and checks used as source documents are abbreviated to C. So we did that. We journalized the transactions. So that should be it for this um, chapter nine, lesson four, work together problem. And you can do on your own, on your own.